you have been struggling with, you You were diagnosed with lupus mm -hmm. and that you went through chemo? Yes. Is that right? Yes. When did this happen? Uh, three years ago. Abracadabra, we all wanted to have magical powers or a wish-granting lamp as kids, didn't we? We all enjoyed cartoons about wizards and magic and Wizards of Waverly Place aired on Disney wasn't something to be missed. However, we are all grown up now and know there isn't a thing called magic, but what if I told you there is? Magic is in people. Some people are just magic. We all heard about Selena's kidney transplant. What a wonderful friend she has. She definitely must have had some magic in her. However, did you know Selena suffers from an autoimmune disorder whose complication could be kidney failure? Yes. That's right, Selena Gomez has been suffering from an autoimmune disorder for many years, and now it's public. Now she is a strong star who helps people understand autoimmune disorders and helps others fight and overcome them, just like she did. So if you want to understand this disorder, keep watching. But before that I cast a spell on all of you to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon. LOL wish it was that simple. Welcome back guys to another video filled with fun and loaded with information. Selena Gomez, born July the 22nd, 1992, is an American singer, actress, and producer. She has been regarded as a triple threat by media outlets. Gomez began her acting career on the children's television series Barney and Friends, 2002 to 2004. In her teenage years, she rose to prominence for her lead role as Alex Russo in the Disney Channel television series Wizards of Waverly Place, 2007 to 2012. With latest news saying she is gonna play a part in the upcoming Hulu series Only Murders in the Building, which is a comedy show as well, seems like Selena has a hang of comedy, comparing to all the comedy shows she has done just to name a few apart from Wizards of the Waverly Place, like in the Another Cinderella Story, 2008, Princess Protection Program, 2009, Ramona and Beezus, 2010, Monte Carlo, 2011, Spring Breakers, 2012, Getaway, 2013, The Fundamentals of Caring, 2016, The Dead Don't Die, 2019, and A Rainy Day in New York, 2019. She was even awarded as the Best Actress in a Comedy Series at the Critics' Choice Television Awards. The autoimmune disorder Selena suffers from is called lupus. Lupus is a disease that occurs when your body's immune system attacks your own tissues and organs, autoimmune disease. Inflammation caused by lupus can affect many different body systems, including your joints, skin, kidneys, blood cells, brain, heart, and lungs. Lupus can be difficult to diagnose because its signs and symptoms often mimic those of other ailments. The most distinctive sign of lupus, a facial rash that resembles the wings of a butterfly unfolding across both cheeks, occurs in many, but not all cases of lupus. So who gets affected with lupus? Some people are born with a tendency toward developing lupus, which may be triggered by infections, certain drugs, or even sunlight. That makes it a very hard disease to control, as no one knows why it begins and what actually flares up the symptoms of the disease. So what are the symptoms of the disease? No two cases of lupus are exactly alike. Signs and symptoms may come on suddenly or develop slowly, may be mild or severe, and may be temporary or permanent. Most people with lupus have a mild disease characterized by episodes, called flares, when signs and symptoms get worse for a while, then improve or even disappear completely for a time. Basically, the symptoms that would show depends on what system of the body is involved. The most common signs and symptoms would include fatigue, fever, joint pain, stiffness, and swelling. A butterfly-shaped rash on the face that covers the cheeks and bridge of the nose or rashes elsewhere on the body like the image shown before. Skin lesions that appear or worsen with sun exposure, oh sad, that would make a life for Selena so bad. Imagine having a flare-up of symptoms just cause you wanted to spend time at the beach. That's just sad. Fingers and toes turn white or blue when exposed to cold or during stressful periods. Damn, no snowman too. Shortness of breath, chest pain, dry eyes, headaches, confusion and memory loss could also be expressed. Does everyone actually get lupus? What are the risk factors? Some of the risk factors would be your sex. Lupus is more common in women. Age, although lupus affects people of all ages, it's most often diagnosed between the ages of 15 and 4 to 5. And race, lupus is more common in African Americans, Hispanics, and Asian Americans. What are the causes of this grave autoimmune disorder? As an autoimmune disease, lupus occurs when your immune system attacks healthy tissue in your body. Lupus likely results from a combination of your genetics and your environment. 
you could be wondering how did Selena land up with a failed kidney? Well, there are certain complications a person who has lupus can have. So what are the complications? Inflammation caused by lupus can affect many areas of your body, including your kidneys. Lupus can cause serious kidney damage, and kidney failure is one of the leading causes of death among people with lupus. Kidneys are the major purifying system of our body. Kidneys help in throwing out the toxins, retain the water, and reabsorb the nutrients, which could be helpful, but our body throws them away anyway. Kidneys also play a part in maintaining your blood pressure, but that's for another day. The brain and central nervous system can also be affected, and if your brain is affected by lupus, you may experience headaches, dizziness, behavior changes, vision problems, and even strokes or seizures. Many people with lupus experience memory problems and may have difficulty expressing their thoughts. Blood and blood vessels, lupus may lead to blood problems including a reduced number of healthy red blood cells, anemia, and an increased risk of bleeding or blood clotting. It can also cause inflammation of the blood vessels. Lungs, lupus increases your chances of developing an inflammation of the chest cavity lining, which can make breathing painful. Bleeding into the lungs and pneumonia also are possible. Heart, lupus can cause inflammation of your heart muscle, arteries, or heart membrane. The risk of cardiovascular disease and heart attacks increases greatly as well. Along with infections, people with lupus are more vulnerable to infection because both the disease and its treatments can weaken the immune system. Having lupus appears to increase your risk of cancer. However, the risk is small, but chemotherapy is said to be a form of treatment for lupus. Bone tissue death occurs when the blood supply to a bone declines, often leading to tiny breaks in the bone and eventually to the bone's collapse. Pregnancy Complications Women with lupus have an increased risk of miscarriage. Lupus increases the risk of high blood pressure during pregnancy and preterm birth. To reduce the risk of these complications, doctors often recommend delaying pregnancy until your disease has been under control for at least six months. Even though lupus is said to cause so many issues in a person, we don't really know how to diagnose lupus, and there isn't one test that can tell for sure you might have lupus. So, what are the tests? There may be some blood and urine tests like complete blood count, results may indicate you have anemia, which commonly occurs in lupus. A low white blood cell or platelet count may also occur in lupus. Erythrocyte sedimentation rate, a faster than normal rate may indicate a systemic disease such as lupus. It may be elevated if you have lupus, an infection, another inflammatory condition or cancer. Kidney and liver assessment. Urinalysis, a sample of your urine, may show an increased protein level or red blood cells in the urine, which may occur if lupus has affected your kidneys. Antinuclear antibody, ANA, test, a positive test for the presence of these antibodies produced by your immune system, indicates a stimulated immune system. While most people with lupus have a positive ANA test, most people with a positive ANA do not have lupus. If you test positive for ANA, your doctor may advise more specific antibody testing to rule out lupus. What are the treatment options available? But before that, you have to know that the doctors may ask you to get a biopsy of the skin lesions or the organs the doctors think might be affected to reach to a diagnosis or confirm the diagnosis. Treatment for lupus depends on your signs and symptoms, determining whether you should be treated and what medications you require. As your signs and symptoms flare and subside, the medications most commonly used to control lupus include non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs. It may be used to treat pain, swelling, and fever associated with lupus. Antimalarial drugs, medications commonly used to treat malaria, such as hydroxychloroquine, affect the immune system and can help decrease the risk of lupus flares. These drugs are called chemo drugs as they are derived from chemicals, not plants, roots, and shoots, like other drugs. Corticosteroids can counter the inflammation of lupus. High doses of steroids, such as methylprednisolone, medrol, are often used to control serious diseases involving the kidneys and brain. Immunosuppressants, drugs that suppress the immune system, may be helpful in serious cases of lupus. Biologics, a different type of medication, alimumab, venlista, administered intravenously, also reduces lupus symptoms in some people. Rituximab, Rituxan Truxima, may benefit some people with whom other medications haven't helped. In clinical trials, Voclosporin is effective in treating lupus. That's it for the day, guys. We have come to an end after giving you all the information you need about lupus, which makes people's life hell.
Yay, you can't go out in the sun, you can't go out and get all chilly, and you are always scared to where you might have another flare-up. Well, imagine Selena fighting it. She was diagnosed with lupus in the year 2015, and now even got a kidney transplant. On many occasions, Selena mentioned how hard it was to fight this disease and keep up a career, along with the fact that this disease is curable or we can keep it in control, but the patient suffers a lot of mental turmoil too. It doesn't matter if you are a celebrity or not. You are human after all, and these medications cause many physical changes, too, even Selena grew fat and was teased on social media for her physical changes, but there is nothing much you can do about it. You have it, and you have to face it. We have seen a lot of celebrity stories about fighting rare diseases, so no one's life is all that perfect. We need to find perfection in it and keep living. Ending with a famous spiritual quote, Every new day is a gift given to us with 86,400 seconds to live, let's not waste it and live every second, doing something we like. If you liked learning about lupus, give us a like and hit that bell icon. Thanks guys, see you soon.